Hello, welcome to this session of Understanding Analog to Digital Converter ADC. First we will discuss about a single channel ADC which is ADC 0804 which is very widely used if it is a single input which has to be handled. This got some standard connections in R and C that decide the clock frequency and uh, the clock uh, is given at uh, pin number 4, R is it given at pin number 19 that is the clock R and this is the clock in and the capacitor is grounded and then the we have made a typical arrangement here for the purpose of testing. It has got 8 bit uh, output when of course one is LSB and one is MSB and uh, 5 volt supply and then uh, the digital ground pin number uh, 10 is the digital ground and pin number 8 is the analog ground we can and then the pin uh, b input uh, V in this point can also be made ground. V reference by 2 that means if the reference voltage the supply voltage is 5 this point is internally uh, developing a 2.5 volt here. And this start switch we have made an arrangement in the simulation software which we will see that how the data is transferred that means from the analog input is converted to digital and transferred into the digital output. For the other type which is a 8 channel ADC the only difference that it has 8 inputs it can instead of 1 input it can handle 8 inputs in a multiplexing mode. What is multiplexing mode? We have an address line of ABC that is ABC if ABC all 3 are low it will accept the input 0 only the analog input 0 at input 0 only. If it is low low high it will accept the input 1 and input 2 and so on that means if we keep it on a multiplexing mode first this next this next this next this and then this goes on in uh, uh, sequence continuously and the input will be scanned from uh, input 0 to input 7 accordingly and the digital output is developed at the digital output. This will be more clear once we go over to the simulation part of it and we see this is what the 0804 is. In 0804 we have got the digital output supply voltage ground is internally connected we are not shown here and then V input is given here and then the uh, ground it is the negative point and the positive point we have uh, made an arrangement of a varying voltage here we have made an arrangement of a varying voltage here and uh, as far as discussed is this reference by 2 will be the half of this voltage if this is 5 reference by 2 will be 2.5 volt and clock resistance is 10 K and then the capacitance is connected to ground ranging from 100 uh, uh, PF to about uh, 50, 56 PF which is connected to the clock end. And the other arrangements we have made only for the purpose of testing however these connections will be coming from the microcontroller in a programmed way for the program execution. We will see how it works. Now once we have an arrangement like this when the input is about say 5 volt the input is given 5 volt and we see the digital output is 1 1 1 1 1 1. This is what the 5 volt is. Now supposing now I change it to say 4.5 volt and see what is the digital output the digital output is like this and if I change it further I find the digital output is like this further digital output is like this. So, it goes on changing and this digital output is taken to the microcontroller for processing further for the purpose of display control whatever as per our program. So, this is how and uh, when we bring it down to completely maybe 0 and then this voltage input voltage is now 0 and then the we find the output is also 0. So, this is what a single channel works. Now, supposing we go over to a multi channel as we discussed, we go over to a, an arrangement where it is called ADC 0808. ADC 0808, ADC 0808 as we discussed has an address line of, if we go over to the, the address line, this is that address line. Okay. So, if you go over to this address line concept, this is that address line A, B, C. If it is 0, 0, 0, then the output will be accepting input from this only. And if it is 0, 1, 0, it will be accepting as per the table that we had seen. So, now if we 
operate this the other arrangements remaining same the uh, the the clock is developed by a, a schematic trigger arrangement here for the purpose of simulation but however this clock can come even from the microcontroller not necessarily that we should have an external clock arrangement we can always program we can write the program to send the clock which is about 640 kilohertz it uh, works so we have to develop that uh, when we operate in the microcontroller manner now if it is in this manner and we see what is the input okay we take it to the uh, an arrangement here we find this is the input this is the output now we change this this is the output we change it and this is the output and this is how a 8 channel uh, operates in the address line when the address line goes over from 0 to 1 the data is transferred and uh, it is accepting from the 1 and accordingly as per the table it will accept from 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 as per the requirement. Mm. Thank you.